Um, Venki Ganti, uh, head product and engineering at Tumblr Station. I take my coffee in the South Indian, uh, what is called a filter coffee style with chicory root in it and mixed in it. So that's how I like my coffee. Uh, my name is, is Laurel. I'm a kind of a principal engineer, do a lot of ML at, at Number Station. Uh, and I will drink almost any coffee, but some of my favorite is actually camping coffee where it's unbelievably strong and almost steep like tea. And you usually have it when you're camping or backpacking um, and there is nothing quite like it. So, um, yes. You said, oh, customers are coming to us and they're saying that they want data wrangling. And how does that even look? And the, when you say that, I think, wait a minute, is AI just going to be able to do my data pipelines for me? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Or are we still pretty far from that? So there are multiple multiple stages in, in uh, data transformation and data wrangling before data is ready for all the analytics work that happens over at data warehouses. So one is the transformation from a source system into the into the target data warehouse, and that involves schema transformations, data transformations, and some data wrangling and data cleaning there. So data wrangling could be either, oh, I'm, I need to match the customer records, like entity resolution, that's one aspect of it. Other aspect is around sanitizing column names. So I have state columns abbreviated or fully fully expanded, uh, in some uh, regions and some other regions are they're abbreviated. So that kind of standardization needs to happen and null values, all of these have to be filled in. So this is all manually intensive. So, and there are various problems that people have to address, the data engineers and, and data scientists have to address in this space. So the place where we are see, seeing significant traction is around data entity resolution, matching records, uh, which which are I didn't, which which represent the same entity, but they're represented differently in the database, right? From because they're coming from different sources. So that's one significant area that we are seeing a lot of customers, like insurance customers. Uh, one of our customers is there, and another one in the real estate industry is this. These kinds of customers are coming in and asking us, "Oh, we need help here. We have rule-based systems, and these are taking a lot of time to develop and maintain." So instead, can we use something like a large language model and and derive, make it uh, uh, make it efficient as well as accurate enough so that we can put it in production, right? So that's that's the place where we are seeing a lot of traction in the in the data cleaning, data wrangling space here. Yeah.